Hello again. And this lecture is about the themes and symbolism of Wuthering Heights. So let's begin with the first one. Doubles. Okay. Brown's novel is arranged in pairs of elements, characters, settings, and themes. Across several respects, Catherine and Heathcliff are perfectly balanced and see themselves as similar. Catherine's character is split between two warning sides, the side that Edgar desires and the side that Heathcliff desires. Both Catherine and young Catherine are surprisingly identical and completely different. The two buildings, Wuthering Heights and Thrush Cross Crank, reflect opposite words and beliefs. The book has two very spare narrators, Nelly and Mr. Lockwood. The interaction between these pairs' components is generally very complex, with the representatives of each pair being not personally the same nor diametrically opposite. The Lantons and the Erin show that appear at first. They represent different sets of beliefs, however, by the end of the book. There have been so many intermarriages that it is no longer visible the difference between the two groups. My dear students, we can realize that from this novel I'm talking about the themes and action بأنه هناك توازن بين كل من كاثرين وهذا كلف تماما حيث يرون أنفسهم متشابهين Also we can say that the character of Catherine تنقسم بين جانبين مختلفين between Edgar what he wants and Heathcliff what he wants from Catherine حيث هذه العلاقة بين كل من كاثرين Heathcliff Edgar تكون متطابقة بشكل مدهش ومختلفة تماما Also this novel is contained of two narrators Mr. Lockwood and Nelly يعود هذا التفاعل بين هذه المواضيع الثنائية معقد للغاية بشكل عام حيث كل زوج متطابقين تماما ولا يتعارضان تماما For example, we have two families Earnshaw and Linton's family تظهرون بداية الرواية على أنهم مثلون مجموعات مختلفة من حيث المعتقدات But at the end of this novel نرى أنهم من المستحيل تفرقتهم لوجود حالات من الزواج بينهم The other symbol of this novel is the ghost Throughout Wuthering Heights, spirits argue that how they still live remains ambiguous Thus the world of the novel can always be interpreted as a realistic one. Certain ghosts such as Catherine's spirit, when it is appears to look good in chapter 3, may be explained as nightmares. The villagers alleged sightings of Heathcliff's ghost in chapter 34 could be dismissed as unverified superstitions, whether or not the ghosts are real. The symbol is the manifestations of the past within the present and the way memory stays with the people, permitting their day-to-day -day lives. The symbol of ghost is very interesting in Wuthering height. بعض الأحيان نتساءل كيف الغوست يعيش في Wuthering height. لكن أعتقد أن الجواب أن هذا السؤال تزال غامضة. Usually, the world of novel is real world. لكن تفسر بعض الأشباح مثل روح كاثرين عندما ظهرت chapter 3 على أنها nightmare. أيضا رفض المشاهدة القرويين إلى ghost of Heathcliff in chapter 34 على أنها خرافة ولم يتهم التحقق منها. So, if it is real or not, فإنها ترمز إلى مظهر. الماضي داخل الحاضر وطريقة بقاء الذاكرة في الإنسان وأيضا هي من ضمن تخل الحياتهم اليومية Repetition Repeating is another technique that prompt is used to coordinate weathering height It seems like nothing real comes to an end in the universe of this book 
Instead, time appears to pass a loops on the events of the past, or replicate in the present. The manner in which the names of the characters are repeated, such that the name of the characters of the current generation appear to be nothing more than changing the names of the characters of the younger generation seem only to be resemblance of the names of their parents lead the reader to consider how plot elements also repeat themselves for instance Hathcliff's degradation of Heraton repeats Hendley's degradation of the Hathcliff also the young Catherine's mockery of Joseph's errand Evangelical zealousness repeats her mother's. Even Heathcliff's second try at opening Catherine's grave repeats his first. Repetition is an another style in Wuthering Heights. حيث تبدو الأحداث في سلسلة من التكرار between the past and the present في عالم هذا الكتاب. من خلال الطريقة التي تتكرر بها أسماء الشخصيات حيث لا تبدو أسماء الشخصيات الجيل الحالي أكثر تغييرا من الجيل القديم I'm talking about the name of their parents أيضا يقود القارئ للتفكير في أحداث الرواية من ناحية الأفعال ومن ناحية المطالبة بالثار من جانب آخر نرى أنه حدث جدا مهم هو عند قيام هذا كلف لفتح the grave of Catherine just like the first one it is also uh, repeating The another important theme is betrayal. Considering that Catherine is bailing on Heathcliff by marrying Edgar Linton, Heathcliff is going to be pretty quick on her. Heathcliff disappears for three years, but when he eventually accuses her for deceit, he frames it as a disloyal to herself. So my dear students, the betrayal is another important theme in Wuthering Heights. Heathcliff accuses Catherine she betrayed him when she left him and she chose Edgar to marry him because we know he looks poor. On another hand, when he came back after three years, she thought that he betrayed her when he chose to be with Isabella. So it is based on them actions. Literacy throughout the book, reading and learning have been seen to be outlets of both strength and enjoyment. Heathcliff purposely keeps Herton educated as a way to manipulate the young man and take revenge on Herton's father. Handling in the same way, Cathy gives books to her servant, Mikhail, to convince him to send her love of letters to Linton. The graffiti at Wuthering Heights at the beginning of the novel also serves as a kind of dominate by carving their names into the wall. Catherine Enshu and her daughter Enshu that their spirits will always preside over the crumbling house. However, the character also Drive significant pleasure from reading. It is one of Cathy's few solaces during her miserable first months at Wuthering Heights, and it eventually serves as a pretext for her to bond with Herton. The other prominent theme of this novel is literacy. So the wall of this book is looked to the reading and writing على أنها منافذ القوة والمتعة حيث نرى أن هذا كلف يحاول جاهدا أن يجعل من هارتون أن يجيكيتد كوسيلة للتلاعب بالشاب حتى يأخذ ثاره من والده هندلي أيضا تعطي كاثي كتب to her servant مايكل لإقناعه برسالة رسائل إلى محبوبها I'm talking her lover لينتون uh, the writing on the wall in Wuthering Heights in the beginning of this novel when Catherine wrote it it is just like a dominate يعني هي للسيطرة على Wuthering Heights عندما كتبت 
كاثرين ارنشو كاثرين هاثكليف كاثرين لنتون ايضا هو للتعبير عن المشاعر الرومانسيه او مشاعر السيطره